Well, today we're back working on the corn tool and cutter grinder. I got around and made me a little extension to go in my little boring head. We've seen this boring head. If you haven't seen it all, see if I can find that video and throw a link up here in the... this corner. This corner, I think. Anyway, we've turned our little extension. This is the extension we built to start with to fit in our boring head. Too short. So we built a longer one to go in here. And so now we've got what we need to bore out these uh, grown-up corn castings. So I'll show you the setup on the table here. A couple interesting things about it on this little light-duty milling machine, which isn't usually apparent, but um, this is kind of making a difference and it stands out a little bit. But anyway, we're going to get see if we can't get the two bed bar holes bored. And assuming that goes well, we're going to flip it up 90 degrees and uh, go ahead and we will bore the hole for the vertical spiral column and the... Um, three hold down bolts, which I believe are going to be three eighths if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, let me empty my hands, we'll move the camera around and we'll show you what we got going on. Okay, a little bit of a view of the table here. We've got our castings bolted together. I'd previously done that and then they've been planed off both on this one side and on the base. So those are my reference to surfaces. I've got them, I'm very confident they're at 90 degrees. So I've got an angle plate set up here with a couple of clamps here and with this angle plate why well, I had to support it at the back so I just put a jack under it. I've done that several times in the past. It works fine. So, and I've referenced, I've zeroed out our this front face on the, on the uh, angle plate. So we're parallel or we're perpendicular to the table. We're in line with the uh, X track, X axis is what we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by drilling these two holes. Now these castings both had quite a bit of shrinkage in them and I debated whether I should use them or not. I think they're so massive for what they are in, in aluminum that I think they're going to work if they end up and I've got too much shrinkage in there why um, we'll just scrap them and, and cast up a new pair and start over again. But I think they're you know they're neither of them are really in a stress situation on this one. This casting gets split so potentially there's a little bit of weakness here on the outside where we've got a big divot here in the back it doesn't make any difference those are they're basically cosmetic there's lots of material there the other side on the main casting has got a little bit of shrinkage in them but it's very minimal uh, you know compared to these two and i think it'll work fine so what i've done is i've taken three one two three blocks and spaced them out underneath so hopefully everything will clear when we punch these two holes through and then we've clamped them both down with clamps on the edge and then C-clamped them up against the again. So we're pretty rigid. It's pretty solid. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, the thing I did notice is this control became very, very stiff. So I've put enough torque on everything here that we've, we've stressed something a little bit. Um, where we're just boring the holes, I'm not going to worry about it. It's secure, so I'm going to leave it there. But I did notice we've, we've lost that smoothness of that table travel. And that happens with lighter machines when you do that. So anyway, I'm just basically going to put a, uh, put a drill chuck in here. We're going to start drilling holes down through until we get as big as we can. Then we'll swip, switch over to the boring head and finish boring the two holes. So this is an awful lot of reach. I think we're beyond the quill travel. So what will have to happen is um, we'll have to do our setup, get it drilled through if we can all the way through, and then we'll have to bore it and then adjust the head up and down as appropriate to get it all the way through. So we'll see how much travel we've got and what we can do. Okay, got my little sketches here. We're four and five eighths inches apart um, between the holes, inch and three eighths hole. We're pretty well centered up on both of them, so I'm just going to start working a hole down in between them. lock our table positions here.
Okay, that's through. This is going to be a really long day, I can tell already. I'm going to switch out and put a different chuck on. Get a flashlight and eyeball lap. Don't quite have enough travel on this to uh, board all the way through and then bring it back up. So what I'm doing is taking it down part way, going and shutting it off. I've swapped out to a high-speed steel cutter, giving it quite a bit of positive rake, and it seems to be cutting pretty good. So we're getting close. I think we've got probably two more passes to actually bring it to final size here. Yeah, we're a little over two and a quarter here. We'll take one more roughing cut on it. And uh, then we'll go back and get the get a set of snap gauges out and the uh, micrometers. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead bore this uh, bore this hole on out. Then we'll switch over to this hole. But let's move our table back over where it's supposed to be.
what happens when you're playing with the camera and uh, and still trying to actually work. Well, I'm sorry about that guys, I thought I had this tape running. This should be my last cut in here in the boring bar, with the boring bar in this uh, journal. And uh, I mic'd out my shafts for my bed bars and it is right at uh, inch and three eighths. So it mic's right at 1375. And so here in this I'm shooting for 1.37 to 1.39 probably. Um, I kind of expect to have to go back and hone these a little bit or just polish them a little bit. When I split this one I expect it to shrink up. It's going to move a little bit and uh, you know I just expect to have to have to uh, work them a little bit. So if I can get it in that neighborhood I'm going to be just happy as can be. Let's get this up here out of the way without losing our settings. Set her back to back to zero again just in case we do have to make another cut. We'll want that positioning for the for the uh, rear bed bar anyway. So See if we can do anything here. One three seven seven, one three seven six five. One three seven nine. So I'll uh, I'll be satisfied with that. Yeah, that's not bad. So now it's so now it's just going to be a matter of moving over, boring the other one. I don't know if I will uh, bore you with the uh, video on that, but uh, there's the first one done. I'll move it over, get the other one bored. That's probably going to be a be it for the day. I really kind of wanted to get the the vertical stuff done too, but I don't see that happening. So. Okay, there again, should be the last cut. So let's uh, back her out of here and 
take a measurement and see what we got. zero it out again just in case we have to take another one but I think that should do it I'm going to take after I get everything done I'm not going to break this down tonight but I'm going to uh, I'll wait until in the morning I want to remeasure it again and just double check everything and then I'll probably take a fly cutter and just lightly deck those off just to get a flat surface on them Here, where we can see. A little over three seven seven, three seven eight. Just under 378. So, so I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Like I say, I'm going to leave it until in the morning now. I'll uh, clean up a little bit of my mess and we'll leave it until in the morning, remeasure everything, make sure we've got everything where it needs to be. Hopefully we've got a nice straight bore all the way through. We should have, but a um, little bit of variation in the way it machined. But, um, you know, I'm not real happy with these castings, just with the, with the shrinkage that I got on them. But uh, in reality, it's not going to make a bit of difference once they're finished out. Nobody will ever know except you and me, and I'm not going to tell you. So I'm going to clean up my mess here. Hopefully we've got these ready to go tomorrow when I have time in the afternoon why I'll flip them up right onto the table and set them up and we'll clamp them down there, bore the uh, center spiral column hole and then the three tie down bolts or the three anchor bolts, bolt, bolt down bolts, hold down bolts <laughs> and then we'll drill the three uh, mounting bolts for it and then the castings will be pretty well machined. We've still got a drill the one for the 3 8 um, lock bolt and split them and I guess there is the the uh, caps and things like that that have to be drilled and tapped into them things like that but uh, otherwise the castings will basically be done and ready to go so uh, making a little bit of progress and hopefully you find that a little bit interesting comment suggestions leave them in the comment section for me below if you have not hit that subscribe button and this interests you i'd appreciate it if you did and as always guys thanks for taking the time to watch